that's interesting, isn't it? Go faster stripes with some little uh, stripes on the side. There's some tattoos on that girl. I don't have any tattoos. Uh, I like the look of tattoo art in the same way as I go to an art gallery and admire the, the paintings and the art pieces that people do and go, yes, that's very nice. But I just... There is nothing, as far as I'm concerned, and nothing that I could get done, tattooed, that would be uh, one, truly unique, two, really amazing, and three, that I could live with for the rest of my life. Uh, let's say I'm just a bit fickle. I get bored of things quite easily. So the last thing I want to do is tattoo something on my skin and then about two weeks later go, oh, I wish I hadn't fucking bothered. Uh, my life is always sort of... Uh, well, like everybody's life is always changing. And therefore, I change with life as well. So what I could get tattooed today may not apply tomorrow. And I prefer to move forward in my life not have reminders of things that have passed I do keep some photographs though um, but I keep them on face value uh, I don't really want to dwell into the moment that happened unless of course it was particularly cheerful I don't visit cemeteries, for, for example, any of my relatives have, uh, have passed on. I don't visit the cemeteries that they're in. Uh, it's just coincidental that I go past my uh, grandparents' cemetery. <laughs> so, if people ask me, uh, and I'm feeling kind of amusing, uh, if they ask me, say, oh, uh, you know, where do, you, where do your grandparents live? Then... Uh, I'll uh, I'll say, oh well, they 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 moved. Well, I haven't seen them since they they've moved, and they go, you haven't seen them since they moved. Well, where did they move to? Oh, uh, Bentley Cemetery or a uh, Streetly Cemetery where my uh, grandparents buried. And they go, oh oh oh, oh they are so funny. <laughs> yeah, you will get a ticket for that. Double red lines. They're uh, fuckers, the traffic wardens now. Once upon a time, one could park one's motorcycle on the paved area, and as long as it wasn't causing an obstruction, traffic wardens wouldn't be uh, that bothered. Now, park your motorcycle on the pavement, and bastards are fucking slapping tickets on it left, right, and centre. Apparently, uh, according to some article on the internet, uh, near enough uh, 2,700 or 3,700 people have been done for speeding through the roadworks that are on the M54. Um, and they reckon that's actually a significant decrease compared to how it was on the previous occasions. Uh, which goes to prove that the cameras that they put on the motorway do have an effect. <laughs> there were a few commentary posts about uh, how it should, uh, they should just get rid of them and all this kind of thing, and then some people who uh, are for them saying, well, actually, it's helping to protect the people who are working on the roadworks because I'm not comfortable with vehicles passing at 50 mile an hour, let alone 70 mile an hour kind of thing. And uh, <laughs> I said that uh, they should put more of the fucking cameras up and stage the fines up for repeat offenders. Because uh, 
80 percent of car drivers are all fucking twats anyway and the other 20 percent probably ride motorcycles and or drive a hgv <laughs> uh, obviously that's a trolling com comment it's not <laughs> it's literal uh, i was feeling in a bit of a troll mood i think everybody has a has the potential and does from time to time to varying degrees be a troll on the internet because uh, it's quite amusing go get some food and uh, then go and do these car balancing things to do my vital rush Every time I come to this island, you see the tin man's there. He always looks like he's pouting his lips. And when they welded him all up, well, they put him up in sections, I believe. When they welded him all up, they didn't finish it off, so he's got a hole in his arse cheeks. Looks a bit, looks a bit weird. I kind of always wonder what it would be like if he came alive one night. No, I got struck by lightning or something and come alive. But hey, that's all you need as well. All this fucking stupid traffic. Come on, move, move, move. Loose dog in the front of that car. Always good practice having a dog, an animal, loose in your car. Because, you know, that's really clever. Dog gets startled or something. Its first, uh, first reaction may be to jump in the driver's lap. Where are you fucking going? I mean, you're a fucking learner driver and you're fucking well bastard trying to put to the side of me. You're fucking unreal. A big fat fucking cunt of a driver. Just goes to show that just because people are instructors or claim to be driving instructors or even motorcycle instructors does not necessarily mean that their driving practices are that fucking good. Driving instructors, as far as I'm concerned, are the worst fucking offenders because when they've got their lessons on, they're, they, you know, they're obviously sitting there and they're judging somebody else's driving, uh, ob obviously to make sure that they get to test grade. Uh, but when there's nobody in there, in the car with them and they're driving alone they tend to drive like complete not a fucking twats because they're trying to get to the next appointment as quickly as possible 